In Russia, the largest lake in the world hosts an ice festival every year. At least eight teams of artists carved exquisite ice sculptures this year. We leave you with this report. Thank you very much for watching this edition of We On Wild as One. Ice sculptures everywhere. This ice festival is held annually on Lake Baikal, the largest in the world in terms of volume. Artists have erected ice sculptures to embrace this year's theme from the depths of centuries. I'm just amazed. It's my first time here and I dreamed of coming here. The dream of my life was to see the Shaman Karak. It took me four hours to get here and I haven't been there yet. And I can't get there and I don't know how to get there because I'm just stuck to this ice. It's very impressive. I'm immersed in the icy journeys of my subconscious through the ancient world. In the center of the site, visitors are greeted by a sack of standing stones resembling Stonehenge in England. The stones of ice are decorated with replicas of rock carvings. Even if this sculpture was made outside of the competition, artists follow the same rules. Base your sculptures on real ancient artifacts. Both the ice standing stone and our sculptures feature real artifacts on the wall. This was a very important task when choosing the sketches. We were contacted by more than 60 authors from Iran, Kazakhstan, Mongolia and various cities of Russia applying from very different places. And eight works were selected whose concepts and themes of sculptures most deeply and diversely at the same time reflected our ideas from the depth of ages. The competition appealed to 45 teams, of which eight passed the qualifying round. The event was organized with the support of French producer Philippe Dutte, who visited Baikal five years ago and fell in love with it. We want to show Siberia, Lake Baikal, as an exceptionally beautiful place, populated by friendly and creative people. Therefore, we have included a concert program. We have such a wide profile and sporting events. One of the biggest difficulties for the sculptors was to get clean ice without cracks. The ice cracks even more if it is extracted at cold temperatures like it was this time, minus 25 degrees centigrade, when the ice was taken out of the Baikal waters. The program of the festival included folk performances and sports activities. Ice swimming was cancelled due to cold weather, but people could enjoy another sports activity, football. Played with felt boots. Locals call it here felt boot ball and believe this game was born on the island in Baikal Lake. A fun game that is only gaining popularity in Russia and we are trying to develop this sport. On our lake, it would be a shame not to play it here, on the ice of Baikal. Bureau report, We On, Wild is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.